Hi everybody, Eugene here with Darkroom Software. In this quick video, we're going to be talking about using screen template buttons, specifically using either a graphic or a shape to add a screen template button. We'll also go into a little bit of physical buttons, like an arcade button, and some of the options that you have there as well. But let's go ahead and get started, jump right in, and see what we got. Here we are in Darkroom Booth. We're going to go ahead and go to our screens and I have a screen right here that uh, has two different buttons that do the exact same thing. One of them is an actually is a graphic and the other is a shape. They look very similar. The commands are um, the identical set for during startup and uh, start session is the booth command. But I want to show you a couple different things and why you might want one or the other. So let's say you needed to create a, uh, a color and color and start and a black and white and start button instead of just a start button. Um, with the shape object, it's easy to just replace the text. And then we would just update the booth command with um, color and start after session and so now we have our color button we're going to copy and paste and now we can have it's easy to do a black and white button we're just going to update it with grayscale whoops and start and then edit the text. So that's using a, a shape and we'll go through and we'll build one from scratch in just a moment. Um, for the, the start button, it's a graphic so it's not, it's actually path to a, a file that in this situation is embedded. So I'm able to um, copy and paste it, make a duplicate within the same template, but I can't just update the text. And that's another small difference between these two. You can copy a shape and paste it into a different template versus a graphic you cannot copy and paste it into a different template because it is embedded in the template. Something to keep in mind. So let's go ahead and um, just delete these and build them from scratch. So I'm going to add, and this is just a, a shape. Whoops, that's an effect. Add shape. And I already have the color set. I'm going to add a outline around it. And remember it's the last settings I had, but let's say I wanted to change this to white. I would update the border color. I'm going to add drop shadow and a um, uh, in, in inner shadow. And this will add a 3D effect so it looks more like a button. So those three options are good. The outline to help it stand out from the background. The drop shadow so it looks like it's hovering above the background. And then inner shadow so it looks like it is actually curved like a button. And then you have your uh, when it's shown. I'm gonna set it to hidden so it doesn't automatically fill out everything. And I am going to set a uh, during startup. So right before, this would be for a start button. And then under my booth command, I'm gonna set it for, let's say start session or we can start uh, do a video session. Um, and then under text, start. And that should be very similar to the one we made just with that white uh, outline rather than the orange one. So that's building uh, a start button for our, yeah, a start button from scratch. But under 
your booth commands, it's a good idea to kind of look through here and play around with and get a, uh, a better understanding. Here are your color effects. Um, this is going to be used for the graphic options are going to be used with um, a graphic list like you know, let's say a, a green screen selection where you have different backgrounds that they can choose from. Um, primary print and alternate print are going to be used with print alternate. So these are your basic session options. Um, so start session, cancel session. Take photo, this is uh, not like a shutter button. It will advance past the wait time and go straight into the countdown. So a lot of people get confused with that. And then retake is gonna uh, just retake the last photo. Video options, and then these right here are um, your uh, e-delivery prompts. Review photo, edit photo, add credits is gonna be used more with a, um, a payment acceptor and then the copies prompts uh, copy menu those are different options on uh, how many you can print but uh, good idea to just kind of look at those see which one uh, and test them out okay so what do we got uh, start session what is this gonna be sorry I got oh, okay so um, let's say you wanted to be able to um, you can duplicate this and add another object and let's say instead of during startup we want it to give the option to switch between black and white and color um, after the session has started um, show during session only or you know what we can uh, make it always visible so they can switch between before they start the session um, so we have uh, We'll choose grayscale and then allow it to toggle between. And then we'll just update. Oops. Let's copy that, go back, and then paste it. So you can see because I was able to copy it, I was able to go back because I edited the original button rather than making a duplicate. So I'm gonna make sure just this one object is selected. If I move it down and it looks like I'm probably also gonna need to make this box just a little bit wider. So we'll make that wider. That's one of the benefits of using the shape. And um, we're gonna use a couple tricks. We're gonna say, um, select that one and then this one this one's most selected I right click on it make same uh, say size and now they're not lined up so uh, click on it control click right click and then go to align left now they're all lined up if I had more than three I could then um, uh, use the order or the spacing to get them all lined up and spaced evenly. So let's go ahead and toss those out and let's look at graphic buttons. And I'm going to just fix this background because I can see a little bit of white line fit and fill the entire page. Okay, so what we're next going to do is add a graphic button. Before we get started in that, I'm going to just show you just a few that I have. These would be made in Photoshop or Illustrator. You can see I have a PSD. So if I needed to create a new button for a command that we haven't added yet, like let's, let's say we just added the new print option to e-delivery, I went to my uh, PSD and I updated the uh, with a print option or QR code. Um, so that is the uh, where it's good to, if you're gonna make buttons, make sure you keep the PSD or, or the Illustrator file. Um, but I'm gonna browse, and, and these are just in my computer. You won't have these options, but this would be 
adding a uh, graphic button. So let's say I want to do a video. Let me see what that looks like. I'm not even sure. Oh yeah. So um, have my video. We'll set it to during startup, and the command is video ses session. And I can copy and paste within the same template. And now I'm going to open that and just update it with, uh, let's see if we have a photo. Huh. In this situation, I don't have personally a, uh, a, a photo session button. But I'm gonna just use the start button and then we'll add, update this with um, start session. So typically, if you're gonna have video, you probably, it would say photo. But that's where uh, Photoshop comes in and update. So those are the basics of adding buttons. This is really geared more towards brand new users. Um, we'll save that. And I just wanna touch very quickly on controls. So um, if you are using an external, um, like a physical like an arcade button to start, you can set either the, the button to be left, middle, and right mouse click, and then you can assign it what that button does. That's one option. Or if you have the option to assign a keyboard um, keystroke, uh, these are space bars enter, um, Control B is color. C, uh, Control C is black. Uh, I'm sorry. Control B is black and white. C, control C is color. But you can see them right here. And then reprint. Um, ask for copies. So those are the keyboard keystrokes that you can program. And if you're using a button like that, you also have your uh, serial port trigger. And we have video if you go to darkroomsupport.com and type in arcade button. I think there's a guide for that. So those are a few different options. Um, also, just real quick, um, as we were talking about the um, left and right and middle mouse buttons, when you tap your touch screen, it registers as a left mouse click. So that's why you'll typically see uh, when it's a touch to start, um, left mouse button is set to start session. Um, if you're using a wireless mouse like this and you're not using a touch screen, let's say you're using a giant TV, you can start the session by clicking the left mouse click um, or right mouse button if you wanted to have reprints. So there are just a few different commands that you can use to in different configurations to do different things. So lots of information. Look at specifically what you're trying to do, where you're comfortable working. If uh, you're not good at uh, very good at Photoshop or Illustrator using the shape option is uh, a good option if you don't have a touch screen maybe using the wireless mouse button uh, as an option but thank you so much for watching i hope this has been helpful i'll see you next time thanks again for watching here are a couple of videos that youtube thinks that you might enjoy be sure to like, subscribe, but more importantly, if there's something you want to learn a little bit more about, comment below this video and I'll do my best to add it as a future video. I'll see you in the next one.